Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today we are leaving Yarmouth, Nova Scotia, and we must ride the full length of Nova Scotia today as we have to be up at North Sydney tonight for the ferry to Newfoundland. Luckily, we have 12 hours to make this journey, so we plan to make lots of stops and enjoy the journey since we are on vacation. So we did get out fairly early, but I was expecting traffic since I am from the States and there is always traffic. But I was surprised to find the highways had very little traffic. This is going to be a common surprising theme for this journey. We did decide to take a detour since we know Nova Scotia has tons of lighthouses to see and we passed the sign which said to take the next exit to go to a lighthouse. After riding for a bit, however, there was no sign of the lighthouse, so we turned around and headed back to the highway. We did eventually pass this lighthouse hidden in the trees. We eventually make it back to the highway and decided unless we map out the lighthouse to go see, no more sight adventures, at least until we get much closer to North Sydney. The one place that we did plan to go today was Lunenburg. The wife had seen information on this little town and so she wanted to stop here. It did add a little time, but again, we had until 9 p.m. to be in line for the ferry to Newfoundland. So we went to check it out. We first found bathrooms, which were down by the waterfront. Pennsylvania, one of the most beautiful states. <laughs> Hello there, pup. And then we flew the drone to check out what it looks like from a bird's eye view. decided that we would grab a quick bite to eat so that we were set to burn some miles after we were done here. We pulled up Google and it looked like there was a restaurant about a block down the road so we ventured down there and we found that they had seating right on the bay and they also appear to have horse-drawn carriage rides. It was then time for us to get back on the road. So we rode for a bit and then needed to get some gas. I do love the big gas tank on this bike. We can ride for a long ways before needing gas. We also tried not to let it go below a third of a tank though, because gas stations were a ways apart from each other. It was at this point that Google lost us. It told us that we needed to get off of this road. However, I knew that that was incorrect because we had to stay on the Trans-Canada Highway. This also appeared to be a brand new road, which Google was not currently aware of. So I took a leap of faith and kept chugging away on the new highway. And then all of a sudden, Google decided, hey, there actually is a road here. And then I was no longer lost. We then stopped at our first Tim Hortons. This is the first time we've ever gone here, and I know that Peter McKinnon says that it's garbage, but this place did become a staple of our trip. For the rest of the trip, 
when we wanted coffee, we always looked for Tim Hortons. In the States, I think a comparison would be Dunkin' Donuts, and Tim Hortons is definitely much better. So after we filled up with coffee and pastry, we jumped back on the road and enjoyed the scenery. Nova Scotia was absolutely beautiful. Thank you for watching. Make sure to check back next week as we make it to North Sydney and get loaded up for the overnight ferry ride to Newfoundland on the Marine Atlantic Ferry. Thank you.